Hello and welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and welcome to a preview of Barcelona against Espanyol round 3 in La Liga live from the Camp Nou on Saturday evening. Previews and reviews this season will be coming to you guys courtesy of One Football. so a big thank you for sponsoring me by them. They'll be helping a lot with my current and future projects on the channel so big thank you to them for what they're doing and if you need anything at all with Barcelona news, stats, pre-game, final Final game stats as well. One Football will be providing it all. They have a very good section on La Liga, and their link to their app is down below, which I do genuinely believe would be of use to you guys. But on with the video and looking at Barcelona against Espanyol coming up on Saturday. We'll be playing the fourth and final match on that Saturday with Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, and Sevilla all in action on Saturday in what promises to be an excellent day of football. Real Madrid take on Levante at home, Atletico Madrid with a tough game away at Valencia and Sevilla will take on Eibar at the Ramon Sanchez Pijuan and the final game on the Saturday at 8.45 local time will be Barcelona against Espanyol in the derby and it really is a derby and it really feels like a derby every single match very highly contested there's a lot of animosity between the two sides either stadium there's always a very intimidating atmosphere and the two stadiums in Barcelona are just 5.5 miles apart in the city so it really is a derby match. It's not just one of those games that's two rivals. It is really two real hatred between the two clubs. And there's going to be a lot of fiery challenges. There's going to be an awful lot of work for the ref to do. And I really do hope that we do get a strong referee because a lot of these times these games can turn ugly and we need the referee to stamp down early on any challenges coming in from Espanyol. But last season we fared very, very well against them in the league. Two very convincing wins both at home and away in the league. We went 3-0 at the Cornea El Prat and then in December 2016 we convincingly won at home once again 4-1 on the night. So we're in pretty good form against Espanyol. The season before that though we did have a bit of a hiccup against them but in general we do perform pretty well against Espanyol and I do have some match facts here courtesy of the One Football app and some of these really are quite interesting indeed. Barcelona have won 13 consecutive home games in La Liga which is our best run since January 2014 on that occasion we won 20 25 La Liga matches at home and that was of course during that incredible unwritten run that we had under Luis Enrique. Barcelona are the only La Liga side to have won their first two games of a season six years in a row. Of course this year we beat Real Betis at home and then Alaves away and we're the only La Liga side to have done that six years in a row. Espanyol on the other hand though they've lost eight games in a row at the Camp Nou which is their worst run since 2004 when they lost 17 matches in a row at the camp now and they've gone 16 games without a win against Barcelona in La Liga they've drawn three times and lost 13 which is also their worst run without a win in the derby. Espanyol have only scored twice in their last eight visits to the camp now conceding 26 goals which is an average of 3.25 per game so Espanyol really do concede quite highly against us at home. Barcelona have won more against Espanyol than they have against any other La Liga team and Lionel Messi with 15 goals is the all-time Catalonian derby top goal scorer. He scored 351 goals in La Liga for Barcelona, the second player in the top five Europe European leagues to score 350 goals to the same side only after Gerd Müller's 365 goals for Bayern Munich. Messi is the only player to have scored at least one goal in each of the last 14 La Liga seasons. Some very, very interesting stats there, mainly that Barcelona against Espanyol are very strong. We've got a very good record against them. Espanyol tend to concede a lot of goals when they face us at the camp now, and they have not received much success in the past few years against us whatsoever. So all the signs points to a very, very good game here. We're expected to win it, we're expected to win it comfortably, and we should certainly be aspiring to win this game absolutely no doubt about it they certainly started the season very very strongly you know we beat Real Betis very well we went away to Alaves a difficult stadium we won 2-0 we've kept two clean sheets we weren't great in the Super Cup two defeats there for Ernesto Valverde but since then we've certainly improved we've certainly gone from strength to strength and we've already established a two-point lead over Real Madrid in the league of course they were held just before the international break 2-all by Valencia so it's so important now that we keep that game 
gap there. We've got to keep up this momentum. We cannot let Real Madrid back in and we have to keep winning. Espanyol, meanwhile, has started the season a bit more unconvincingly. They picked up a solid point against Sevilla on the opening weekend, but in week two, they lost at home to Leganes, which is a very bad result for them and doesn't leave them with a lot of confidence. But as with Barcelona, it's always the team selection, which is obviously a big topic of discussion. And particularly this week, Ernesto Valverde, for me, has a lot to think about. He's got to think about how the players have performed in the international break. A few players played a lot of minutes. Ivan Rakitic suffered a slight injury. Arda Turan picked up a knock as well. The likes of Pique, Busquets, Iniesta all played 90 minutes for Spain against Liechtenstein on Tuesday. So he's got to take all these things into account. And also when he picks his team against Espanyol, he has to bear in mind the crucial match coming up in the Champions League on Tuesday against Juventus. So he's got an awful lot to take into consideration. Then you've got the likes of Luis Suarez, who's going to arrive late back from international duty for Uruguay. Messi, Mascherano and Paulinho have also had long flights back from Brazil and Argentina, where they represented their respective nations. So there's a lot been going on, and Ernesto Valverde has got to get his team selection right here, because we've got a very, very hectic schedule coming up in September. Most players, though, were back in training this morning, including Ivan Rakitic. The only player who wasn't there was Arda Turan, who missed training and trained on his own. He's been suffering with a very slight knee injury, and the players looked in good spirits. There was a lot of smiles. It was good to see Osmani Dembele out there with the rest of his teammates all playing together and training as one this morning. He stayed behind over the international break because he wanted to get some match fitness and match practice ahead of what could be his debut this weekend. And that could be a very, very historical moment. Usmani Dembele making his Barcelona debut. What is going to happen in this young man's career? We are all very, very excited to see what he can produce. What I would say, though, is I wouldn't expect him to start this game guaranteed. I would like it if he started. I would like to see him. Of course I would. But I wouldn't put too much pressure on him to start this game simply because he hasn't had a lot of training and a lot of matches over the last few weeks. You'll remember before he made his move to Barcelona, he was actually suspended by Borussia Dortmund, so he wasn't playing for them. He wasn't training. So this week, he's just been trying to get up to speed. I'm sure that he's been trying to convince Valverde that he's fine to start the game, or at least to play a good part of it, coming on as a substitute. But I really, really hope that at some point this weekend, we do see Ousmane Dembele in a Barcelona shirt and seeing what he can do. So let me know down below, guys. What do you think? Should Ousmane Dembele start the game on Saturday or should we introduce him as a substitute given his match fitness and possibly he's not quite ready to start this game? But let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to see him play and I really do want to see what he can produce in a Barcelona shirt. I think in terms of the tactics and sort of the selection by Valverde in this game, the most important thing I think is going out there with a team that can win this game. We have to focus on this game. There's no point looking at Juventus. We've got to focus on the here and now, the present. We've got to win the games that are in front of us because too many times last season, Real Madrid dropped points and either the same week or the week after, we would go and give them back to them. We cannot allow Real Madrid to have any favours whatsoever. That means winning every single match, winning the games that we should be doing and focusing on the job in hand. There's no good looking ahead. We've got to focus on now and Valverde has to pick a team which can win this game and then move on to Juventus. Then you can think about that when the points are in the bag, when the confidence is still there, then you can think about the next game. I think Sergio Roberto should come into the midfield. I think he's been outstanding in the first two games of the season, particularly against Real Betis. He was everywhere on the pitch. He should start in midfield for me. I hope that we see Nelson Semedo at right back as well. He deserves to come back into the team. Valverde seems to be easing him into things. Whether Iniesta starts the game, it remains to be seen. I was very surprised to see him play the 90 minutes on uh, Tuesday for Spain. So I'd be surprised possibly if he started with that Juventus game in mind. I think Valverde will take that into consideration in his team, even if we should be highlighting this game as the priority right now. But I think in terms of the game, the most important thing is, like we say, we just focus on the now. We focus on winning this game. We focus on playing our football. We cannot allow ourselves to be distracted by Espanyol's antics. If they want to put in some bad challenges, let them do that. If they want to get involved in some altercations, let them do that. Let them do their thing and we'll do our thing. We've got the players. We've got the fans behind us. And I think it's a game that we should be winning. Absolutely no question. History points to a win. And I think that we will definitely win this game against our arch rivals. I am going to go with a 3-0 Barcelona victory. I'm going to go with a third successive clean sheet under Ernesto Valverde. Our defence so far has looked pretty solid for the most part. I think Lionel Messi is going to get on the score sheet twice. He's going to get a brace in this game. He's looked outstanding so far this season, particularly in the first two La Liga games of the season. He was absolutely immense. He should have got a hat-trick against Real Betis if it wasn't for the post. He scored against Alaves, of course, a double on that day. 
and he's looked in really good form so far in this La Liga season. Long may that continue because if Messi is in form, we've got a really good chance of success this season. And I'm so excited as well, like I mentioned earlier, to possibly see the debut of Ismane Dembele. So let me know your thoughts down below, guys. What are your match predictions? Who would you like to see starting in this game? And what sort of changes would you make with Juventus in mind? Or would you focus on this game? Would you try and get the points now and then focus on Juve later? Or would you be making some rotations already in this team? Let me know your teams down below. Let me know your predictions. As always, guys, thank you for your comments. Thank you for your support. I will see you very, very soon, of course. I'll have more videos coming up in the lead-up to this game. And, of course, when the game is done, I'll be here with a match review. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barca! Barca.